and what is that it is supposed to be and uh, and we used to do a lot of practice and we started at that time Rodalini Madam introduced me to Hari sir first time and I spoke to him and I don't know that whether uh, uh, he is a meditator or she is a meditator or none. So, and Mrunalini Madam started doing that 40 day sessions and we both are going through that. And um, I started slowly interacting with Hari sir a little bit. And I don't know much about Hari sir at that time. And uh, I'm just talking to Mrunalini Madam. And one day, actually, I asked Mrunalini Madam, Madam, I don't know much about your family and not even about Hari sir. So, uh, actually, one day I happened to have Harisar and the Murali Madam both. We are talking about uh, the program because the time that we are doing, because I was just asking them that whether that is going to be compatible with the family, you know, because that is the time that uh, kids are going to be at home and uh, they, we need to, as a parent, we need to feed and all that stuff. But Harisar said, yeah, because she is very much interested in doing and it, it's okay. And I'm okay to uh, support as a family. And we continued for almost five continuous 40-day sessions with Murali Madam in that year. And after that, then uh, she stepped back because there is so much that she needs to do her family and all that stuff. And uh, that is the time that I started interacting with her research more and more. And I came to know about uh, him and he used to be a meditator by the time. And he's been doing meditation for a long time. And uh, knowing little bit and uh, little by little. And uh, after that, then I started interacting with him more. As the uh, time prolongs. And I came to know more about him. A little bit by personal side as well. And he was taking some <clears throat> guidance from GK sir and uh, Sri Devi madam from Vizag for his personal counselings. And I don't know much about what is it for or what is the kind of uh, uh, pain that he's been going through that I don't know. But we started talking uh, uh, each other and uh, I used to call him and he used to call me and we used to talk about these meditations, meditation sessions and services and all of that stuff. And and slowly, 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 it has becoming like uh, slowly and we both interacted so much. Feeling like brothers. And I came to know a little bit more about him and... Uh, we are talking and then first time I met him when he came to Atlanta, when we had the first meet with spiritual tablets with all the other masters, then uh, he and uh, Ronaldo Madam came to Atlanta. And, uh, and when I saw him first time and the way that he has been taking care of uh, every small thing, even with uh, uh, the water, that has been required at the facility, at the, at the place that where we stayed, or the food that we, what we have brought, and the things that has been required in that place, and everything he was so detailed, and uh, he's paying attention to everything, and uh, doesn't matter what the work is, he does not have any inhibitions for doing anything. And I was just looking at him and seeing that uh, he is sitting on the floor. He is sitting everywhere. He is doing the work and all of that stuff. He is interacting with people. But he he talks very little. He, he don't talk much. But that those two days or three days that I have been interacted with him, and slowly I got connected more to him. And he came to my home for lunch before he left to Jacksonville. And uh, we both had a little bit of an interaction on that day. And uh, before he left, and uh, uh, he said one thing that uh, Ashok, 
it seems that uh, uh, you created that i i know you from a long time and i felt the same way because the way that we interacted and the way that we shared the work and everything and so much memory that he left from those two days for me and after that we started interacting more and more and we are talking and we are talking about services and at that time actually he was not into spiritual tablets much but that day actually before we came from that place we were sitting with jk sir until 3:34 o'clock and then at 4 o'clock jk sir asked every, and everybody left and uh, jk sir asked me and uh, uh hari sir and uh, ravali ma'am just to sit with him and listen to him about what needs to be done for the spiritual tablets and all of that stuff so we went through that and uh, slowly i started interacting with uh, hari sir more and more and how we are going to streamline certain things that what we need to do with in spiritual tablets and that is the time that i have seen how much dedicated he is and when when he takes up a work how disciplined he is and how much committed he is and all of that stuff and uh, when we started talking about uh, streamlining about acharya sangatya and the files that has been required and the help that has been required and all of that stuff and that is the time that uh, vardhini akka and uh, vindya madam and padma madam they are all doing the uh, acharya sangatya administrative work and rest of all the other counselors that we have like chandramanali sir lakshmi lakade madam naina madam swarna madam and gayatri madam and ravali ma'am and madhu madam and all these folks and the lochana madam these are all the first counselors that we used to have in the groups <laughs> and slowly he came into uh, taking uh, taking some stride and friend friend portion of uh, acharya sangha chan started creating the folders and all of that stuff that what is been required for each and every time that, that that is the time that i have talked to him so many times and then one day actually he called me he told me that ashok i feel like i wanted to talk to you about my personal side i don't know why he said that but uh, 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 never happened though oh, because uh, that talk never happened and that is the first time he expressed and i said yeah we will share definitely uh, whatever the experiences that we are going through or whatever the journey that we have in our life because i do have a so much of an uh, uh, journey in my side and how it is going to be before and after my uh, journey uh, before my meditation after my meditation before my spiritual tablets after my spiritual tablets and all of that stuff then we started interacting more and more about the uh, certain things that uh, which i am not happy with because I, that is the first person that i used to go and share my feelings uh with hari sir uh, and then we uh, we we share a lot of things okay so and then slowly slowly uh, they say anahata batch has started and uh, things are been rolling out and uh, slowly we are coming to an end of the anahata batch and one day he called me and he told me that ashok uh, ashok i am coming to atlanta staying with you for 3 2 3 weeks and jk sir asked me to stay go and stay with you so i said okay that's fine because uh, at that time i told him that if you are coming on behalf of the spiritual tablets i am not going to allow you to come to my home but if you are coming as hari then uh, you can come and stay with me for any number of days that you want because i wanted to have that kind of a feeling rather than bringing that spiritual tablets as the middle but you can come any time like a brother brother souls and you can come and stay with me but he went to north carolina he stayed for a couple of weeks at some place and then he wants to i didn't know exactly what he is going through or what kind of pain he is going through i don't even have a clue and then after some time then i left yeah you all you all know that uh, i moved for my personal reasons out of spiritual tablets but still my heart is very close to the people that i work with with jk sir and spiritual tablets and all 
So, but I had a lot of interaction with Hari sir. I used to talk to him a lot and I used to share my uh, work that I have done and uh, the work that needs to be required to be done in future and all of that stuff. And then I think in August or July, he called me and he told me that, Ashok sir, are you coming to uh, Dallas? Uh, GK sir is also coming. And uh, I said, yeah, I am planning to come but I am not sure whether I'm going to come or not. So, uh, and he said that, yeah, definitely. I I am also planning to come, but I don't have a clue. But, uh, but he told me that uh, I need to talk to you because uh, I was thinking to talk to you from a long time to share my personal journey and personal pain that I'm going through. But he said one thing, I don't know how long I'm going to live. I, I don't even have a clue because I didn't have a dare to ask him that what is he going through or what is the suffering that he has been going through. I didn't ask him because I don't want it to because unless and until if he is going to let me know, then otherwise I don't want it to uh, ask him to tell me that what is he going through and all that stuff. And on August 7th or 8th or August 6th, I don't know, GK sir actually conducted a meeting with spiritual tablets. I was not part of the spiritual tablets that time. And uh, Hari sir called me and asked me to join that meeting because GK sir asked me uh, to join. And I said, I am going to join. So I joined. Then right after that meeting, and he sent me a note saying that, thank you, Ashok, and uh, for honoring my word. And you came in, and I am so happy to see you. That is the last, because I, I checked when was my last communication with uh, Hari sir? That is on August 7th or August 8th. And after that, I never spoke. Uh, I spoke to him only once, I think, because I told him that uh, I'm not in a position to come to Dallas. And he's also, I think he, he didn't go, I think, or I don't know. But anyway, that is my last uh, discussion with him. And I never spoke to uh, Murali Madam also, because Murali Madam, I spoke to her a long time back because she called me only one day that she needs some help. Her daughter needs some help with my son uh, because my son, he actually writes essays and all that stuff. So she wants to have some help, her daughter. So that is the last thing that I did with Murali Madam. And after that, I never spoke to her. And when uh, I came to know three days before, on Friday night, I think, or Saturday, I didn't remember, that Jay Prasad sir called me. And he asked me that, Ashok, do you know anything about uh, Hari sir? I said, I no, I didn't have a chance to talk to him lately. I don't know. Then he started crying. I didn't understand that uh, why is he crying and what is the why why does he has that kind of an in, intimate relationship with uh, Hari sir I didn't even have a clue and he is just crying like a baby and he told me that he is no more and I was literally shocked I know that he has some pain what is he going through but not to this level or this extent so I asked him, do you have any other idea that uh, what happened? No, nothing. And he we, he does not even have a clue that when was it happened and all that stuff. Then I was thinking that, uh, so if he is no more, then it is not a good time to send any note or call Ronald Lemire because I know only her. I don't know any of his fr friends or anyone, but I know another family in Jacksonville. I thought of calling. But I... Immediately, uh, my I got that warning, madam, who used to do the flyers for us, and she is Ronaldi's classmate. So I sent a note to her asking that uh, this is what I heard through some person about Hari, sir. Is it true or when it happened? Then she told me that it happened on February 7th. And I was thinking that actually the funeral is going to be on Saturday. And I told to Kavita, tomorrow morning we are going to Jacksonville to attend the funeral. And then uh, Vani Madam called me 
and told me that uh, no sir actually the funeral has happened on 10th and uh, everything has been happened on 7th and 10th is the funeral so she told me that uh, uh, he was in the hospital for more than 10 days or 12 days or whatever and uh, he went through maybe because of the covid uh, vaccine or i don't know what's the what's went through but maybe something wrong with the brain or uh, whatever happened you know uh, he could not able to survive back and so then uh, i asked one madam how is nonali madam doing she's not talking to anyone and uh, she's not even coming out from the room and hari sir has hari and nonali madam has two kids and first one is the boy and the second one is the girl and the boy is actually doing his final year of college and he is going to graduate in may and the daughter is in the 12th grade and she is graduating this may and she is going to step into the college and uh, that boy is from austin i think ut austin yeah um they used to go and uh, give a lot of uh, help i think uh so and i didn't have it i don't wanted to really uh, talk to manali madam right now because uh, i am going to go and meet her personally maybe in the next few weeks just to pay my gratitude and uh, because that time actually yeah, the, the days that i spent with ronali madam and hari sir when we are going through that meditation sessions that was like night me and kavita used to spend a lot of time because ronali madam used to practice that uh, scripts meditation scripts with both of us and that is how actually we did that work and when she actually uh, stopped classes many people has asked me when is madam is coming back for meditation classes and all that stuff but i didn't know but now i know that why she left and uh, why could why she could not able to continue doing all this meditation sessions and all that stuff because we both did five continuous 40 day sessions and after that then a lot of other people pitched in until last year september when my friend's daughter passed away i could not able to continue doing the sessions and i stopped and i never started back i'm i'm not sure that whether i am going to start back again or not but uh, it is very difficult for us to go through but what is life taught us from the last 3 years or 4 years beauty of being in the learning meditation learning yoga and understanding life this is what life is we just need to move on if we are going to stick to these relationships and attachments then it is going to be hard that is one thing which i learned because within the last four months this is the sixth close death i heard and the same kind of symptoms and one is <laughs> day before three days back i called vardhani akka after a long time and we both are talking and amma is not feeling well and akka told that uh, amma is not doing well um, uh, ashok uh, she is having a little bit of cold and cough then i said for some reason i don't know uh, the intuition said or something akka is she ready to take the ticket because she is 101 she is very close to 101 years and they celebrated her life last year 100 years beautifully and the next day morning i saw the picture that avadini akka put together that amma left the body and i called her and uh, she <laughs> and we both are laughing and that is the celebration that we need to do no matter what so that is the beauty of uh, 
death and birth, that what we have learned, but we really need to celebrate. But here also the same thing that uh, we need to really, really celebrate this occasion rather than having any kind of sadness because everybody has to live at one, one point of the time in our future lives. We never know that when that is going to happen, but we need to be prepared and be happy for that. So with that said, then uh, I know that everybody has a lot of interactions, but especially Kordaniyaka and uh, Vindya Ma'am and Chandra Munali sir. And initially Kordaniyaka and uh, Vindya Madam has a lot of interactions, Padma Ma'am. When uh, Hari sir came into administrative work, then those three has a lot of, lot of interactions with them. And uh, even when I called Vardhani Khan that day, when I came to know, and Hari sir used to you know, <laughs> tell Vardhani Akka, I'm coming to Hyderabad and I'm going to stay with you for two, three days. And he's such a sweet person and uh, nothing inside. It's the same personality outside and inside. That is what I observed with Hari sir. Anytime I used to call, he used to pick up the phone and he used to answer and he used to tell me that yeah, whether he has time, if he does not have time, then he is going to, he used to call me like in the next half hour, one hour. And that is the kind of a person that uh, he is and very sweet personality and very committed, very disciplined. But uh, yeah, that is what my interaction with him and what I know about uh, them. And the divine power is going to give the strength to Murali Madam and the kids to live their life. And then I think a lot of interaction Chandra Murali sir also did with uh, Hari sir to streamline and change certain things for keeping the files and keeping the patient guards files and all of that stuff. So I don't know who else has a lot of interaction, but other than Vardhani Khan, Vindya Ma'am, and Chandra sir with the Hari sir, you know, but everybody met, a lot of people met him. Yeah, Sureka Ma'am met and uh, And uh, yeah, even India Madam met him too personally in Atlanta that time when she came. I don't know whether Lakshmi Ma'am, Lakshmi Talanki Ma'am, did you come to Atlanta that time? No, no. Oh, okay. Okay. So that is my interaction and uh, I pray to the divine power to give that uh, strength to Munali Madam and the kids just to continue their life. Very hard. And what I observed, I just wanted to conclude with one thing. On September 28th at 3.30 I, I got a call from my friend and his daughter is actually doing final year in at Vanderbilt. And he called me and I used to call him Sati. His name is uh, Satish. And I just lifted his phone, uh, hey, Akronora Sati, and, and then he told me he's crying and he told me that uh, Tanvi is no more. And my family and his family used to stay together 20 years back, 20, 23 years back. And she just born after we both met in Delaware. And as a baby, she used to come and uh, yeah. sit with us. And we have such an interaction. And there are two things has happened by seeing Satish. He used to be, he has a big company and he's a very strong personality. And he is so close to the kids so much relationship, so much attachment. And I have seen him going downhill from the last four months. He's so depressed. 
and uh, I coached him so much, but still not helping to bring him out of that sorrow and the trauma. But we are so fortunate to be in this path, to understand about relationships, understanding about life and death, and understanding about relationships, attachments, and all of that stuff. I strongly feel that Muralini Madam has that strength. And you all know that she used to be a counselor. Because before we all started, she is from the first batch what the Kesar has did long time back in US. And she and Gaurav sir, Gaurav Palival sir, who did in his first batch. And uh, Ronali Madam used to take the patient guards. After that, she stopped doing that. Before you all came in, I she is the person who started, I started uh, having the Achara Sangacha with her. And after all, all you came in and with Chandra Murali Sarnayana Madam and Lakshmi Madam and Ravali Madam, then she moved out. So, but what I'm saying is because we just need to understand that and uh, <laughs> we make sure that we have that strength to understand about the relationships. And when the near and dear is going to move away from us, definitely it is going to be a pain, but we really need to come out of that to make sure that we are going to be living our life and move forward. So I'll I'll pray to the divine power to give that strength to Manali Madam and the kids. Thank you. Thank you, Ashok. And uh, I, mean, I don't have much to add because my interactions with Hari, other than his asking me for a document on thyroid, sometime in January 23. It has been more like, sir, when are you opening the Zoom session so that the Acharya Sangatya can start? It used to be on those grounds. Nothing personal, but yes. During those interactions also, what I can recall is, I mean, it's a gem. I would say, Hari sir, ease has been a gem. That's the way I remember him. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone else who wants to add, please do. Else we start the meditation, yeah. Lakshmi. Yeah. Sir, I have a few things to add. Please. Is this... Yeah, so actually more than Hari, sir, I know Mrulanili, ma'am. Because uh, when I joined L1, um, before even I know spiritual tablets, um, Runalini ma'am was my first counselor actually. I was, um, I think she was tied up with the UK team to do the counseling sessions. And uh, I was talking to her because of my thyroid issue and I was taking classes or sessions with her. And uh, we used to talk like, a lot even not only during the meeting I used to call her and she used to call me we used to exchange our ideas and all that and uh, then she got she she explained to me uh, about manifestation thyroid all this uh, you know general knowledge perspective we used to talk and then uh, she manifested a very beautiful position and that's where she got very busy and then she said, like, you know, I'm moving out of counseling and all that stuff. And I met her in Atlanta, Hari sir and uh, Mrunalini ma'am. It was uh, really wonderful to know that couple. Very down to earth, each of them. Uh, amazing, actually. They're so quiet. And um, done a lot of work, even in Atlanta when we went there for gathering and all that we could see that and hari sir is a, as chandra sir said he's truly a gem because my interaction was very little but still 
you know when uh, last year in anhata anhata team graduated i was so busy with blissful arts in austin and uh, hari sir was contacting me that if i'm okay can you handle everything how i, I like you know about the donations or you need anything um do you need money like you know he was he was so down to earth and he was following up um about the event even though he was tied up with dallas and hatha batch so that was really touching me if after the event also he was asking like you know everything went well or any um you got enough uh, donations or how did you manage and all that stuff <laughs> that was my interaction with hari sir and also on zoom and uh, we were trying to share zoom for some things as chandra sir said and um, i think counseling sessions acharya sangatya uh, he has handled beautifully very organized we, di- we didn't had anyone here in us so he was like you know big father here for all of us to at least to start this sessions so he was um, big support i would say for spiritual tablets in us uh, anything hari sir <laughs> spiritual tablet anything in us hari sir we used to say okay sir um, zoom or because we were just starting that time uh, l1 spiritual tablets and you know counseling and all that so it was uh, uh, was a big support for all of us we really miss him and uh, my great respects to mrunalini ma'am as well i have seen her in other groups and uh, we did some common sessions as well with her so yeah i don't have much uh, other than this uh, just uh, offer my gratitude and uh, wishes to pray for for their family that's it okay Thank Maybe you, Vindhya sir. Ma'am and, uh, Vindhya ma'am and Vardhini ma'am, would you want to add something? You also spent a long time with Hari, sir. Vardhini, yes. you want to go? You can go. I'll go after you. Hari, I'll speak later. yeah uh, that, i mean ashok sir said it and i have very similar experiences uh, the few words that come to my mind as soon as you say hari gar is a very genuine soul and he is always always ready to help there's like no he has no judgment nothing he's so sincere he is like anybody can connect with him there is no hiding you know different thought inside he is very genuine um when he came to help admin team vadhyaka can also join we used to have a great i mean he will always but he 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 was so humble he never said he was doing anything though he was doing a lot at the back he created that whole all the folders and you know the dra- google drive and gave any time i needed just text and he was there responding even even if he and he was always like dropping his daughter at school picking up but he would join from the car and so yeah. i'm sure all of you know about that so he's been very uh, genuine we used to have great conversations while we all were counseling we used to sit there and he would turn on the video show us all the you know, yard he used to grow vegetables and he was still saying you know like you know lots of animals come and eat and he was struggling to do it and he was always appreciating renalni ma'am for her meditation and like he always was humble so uh, i met nirmali ma'am and him in atlanta and again uh, him in dallas when he came to atlanta sir explained so obviously he was always there to help every little work that was needed he would check dallas when he came also he i had told him he could come and stay with me in my house it's just my house was little away from the thing he said no no don't worry and later on i came to know he came that night before and he stayed i think in the airport all night he just spent and i was like how could you do that you should have called i would have come and picked he said no no it was so late now my 
and then um, gk sir's sister was there lakshmi ma'am and uh, she had suggested there was some student of hers and he was close to the airport and she said he could uh, like you know host some of them from the airport so i called hari garu and i said hari garu just go there because it's very close to the airport you can have your you know meal or something there and then they can arrange or you can take an uber from there. so he went and after that he called me and he said thank you vinaya ma'am for introducing me to that person he's such a uh, that student of lakshmi ma'am he's such a genuine man and i felt you know a genuine person only can see another genuine person and he said i was so thankful for them they gave me dosa they gave whatever it was he was appreciating so much and they even like helped him get uber or something and he never complained he it was struggle i know he came alone from that uber he got lost he came but he never complained and even for anhata batch he like surika ma'am explain anything was needed if i like you know collecting donations whatever gk sir told him he just without question he would do it and i would be like sir i don't think i want to get into donations but he poor uh, he never said anything again so he did everything um and even after he helped um, a lot and it was easy to talk to him like you know you would say women gossip maybe but when we sit in the admin team he was right there with us talking about children talking about everything that we we could just connect as if one of us was just sitting and talking there and as late as just recently january 4th i still have like how oh, sugar said i saw my call log and he had called me the day i think i texted saying i am taking a break and i came out of the group he immediately called me i was thinking my harigar is calling me after so long and he's like vindya ma'am is everything okay why are you leaving i said no sir i just need little break i'm going to do meditation and day and but he was so concerned and uh, yeah and i on friday only i came to know some third person they were not even sure it was harigar so i was shocked i was about to leave to india next day so i called ashok sir and he said you know jp sir mentioned so um munanani ma'am is another genuine person she, she doesn't speak much like harigaru doesn't talk much but she doesn't speak at all and i used to look up to her when i met in atlanta and all like you know and she's so friendly she she would also she cooked uh, we both cooked in that kitchen we both prepared meals and we didn't have many things we didn't have oil nothing we just took the uh, pickle and put that pickle oil and made but uh, we connected so well and uh, i to, and uh, hari sir always said come to florida when you come visit and i was telling him i will come i wish i had made that trip before but i can still make can make munali i wanted to learn how to be so silent like her but i didn't know then that she was going through all this but even then i still like ashok sir said she is strong and uh um, all our prayers are with her and the children i know how much harigar used to worry about that his daughter and get her getting into college and i think with all our prayers and love they will get through so thank you everyone for giving me this chance thank you yeah pranam after a long time i am able to see everyone on the screen here Uh, i could not attend the admin sessions due to my personal reasons with the grandma and other stuff that's the reason i could not connect you all from any days uh, and hari kar we used to i never met him personally but uh, every saturday all four of us will be waiting for saturday literally to connect torture sangacha and being the admin team uh, the whoever come we'll be allotting sessions to them and uh, uh, we used to have a uh, in between time with hari garu to speak uh, many things he, uh, he always used to call me akka as uh, elis and asho calling me akka and uh, he's uh, such a sweet person and uh, uh, talks very casually akka how are you how are you doing when are you coming to florida he should definitely come and visit my house he used to say like that and he always says i'll come to india and i'll stay in your home he used to like uh, say all that stuff and talking all those general things he never expressed his uh, we did not know about his uh, personal uh, trauma which he is going to through that's the reason 
we did not uh, talk anything else, only general things and uh, about Muranali ma'am. Muranali ma'am is the first person I attended meditation session when I started meditation. Uh, at that time, Muranali ma'am used to take uh, daily meditation sessions and uh, with her guided meditation only. I used to like it a lot. down to earth I don't know how can he be uh, such a down to earth and he can mingle with us within no time and uh, used to have general talk thank you thank you all and uh, I always like to have interaction with these people. And uh, along with my grandmother, I have a very uh, close uh, attachment and I lost her the day before. Uh, but still, I'm happy that she lived a long life and she had gone through that. And even in my meditation prayer also, I always used to say, let the soul uh, take on her journey smoothly without having much difficulty. That is the prayer I used to have. And uh, when I always speak with uh, Ari, uh, Bindya and Ashok also, I used to express the same thing and same thing happened. I'm happy that she did not go through much in her last phase. And uh, till Friday, she is having a little cold and cough that's enough. And Monday morning, she passed away. And yesterday only we finished all that uh, rituals and all that. And I wish everyone a happy life. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Chandra, sir, for guiding us all. This. And Ashok, you, you are there much. for everything. Yeah. India is there almost. <laughs> and Lakshmi, ma'am, Naina, ma'am, Naina, ma'am, <laughs> ma everyone. And then with you all. And thank you all for the great support. Thank you, thank you. And in Anahata team, I did not know all the members, but uh, I know their names and all that. But uh, I wish you all uh, good, good luck in the spiritual journey. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Good to see you after a long time. Happy, ma'am. So anyone else? Yes, Who has sir. Interacted uh, with Harry, sir. Yeah. I also had a chance to see uh, Munali, ma'am, not in person, but uh, when we were in uh, Louis Hay patch, and uh, she was uh, uh, my invigilator when we were taking exams. So when I, I when I saw her, I somehow I felt like she's very beautiful. Uh, I just, uh, you know, thought like that. And after that, I uh, I didn't have anything to get con to get back to her and uh, talk to her and all that. But I spoke with uh, Hari sir a couple of times. And other than that, uh, you know, didn't have much interaction with uh, these with this couple. But somehow, I feel like uh, this couple is uh, so beautiful. Uh, and I. Pray uh, divine that uh, you know this family has uh, uh, he's to be strong and all that. We need to be given more strength. And uh, of course, she is in spirituality, as uh, uh, Ashok sir said. She uh, she knows how to handle her and uh, her family and all that. And we uh, we will be there to support uh, that uh, you know family too. Thank you. Thank you. So shall we start uh, meditation? Uh, Ma'am, I wish to express yeah. about uh, Harisa. Uh, I, you can see my smile now also because that is how I would tease him, you know. Sir, can you please come on video? I want to see you. This is how I would say him. 
because he would always keep his video off because I know he would have been doing multiple things in his hand, but he would always be there for Acharya Pangatha. That whole time he would be there. And I would say, sir, at least let me see your face. I have never asked any men like that, you know. That's that. That is one thing I, uh, you know, I would feel why I am asking. I don't know, but then I would feel so good because he would smile, and you say like, you know, yeah, yeah, I am there. I'm here only in this way, and I still remember so many things. I would send those folders. I was so uh, sheets and where it is going. Face the part at that point. Take patience. Not that you know, I will send you a photograph, I will it back. Let's do it. And I don't know this is with all whether I talk or I don't talk, but every possible time there is a word, every person is here. I, I, I don't know, but definitely, as Ashok sir says, it is difficult to overcome the relationships you know it's it's difficult and uh, mm, the more so with uh, people i realize now i would say who is always with so many friends. and uh, that i realized i had a lot after a post marriage i feel and now i have the strength with you all how i realize with two or three years so many close near and dear but we lost and just 15 days or uh, 20 days before again we lost our, my sister-in-law's husband in way you know in the morning gone to bed in no more it's 250 yeah so when we lose those at a very young age uh, yeah, they are dear to God also, probably. That's the reason. But it's definitely a ha harder way to live life. And I just pray to have the all strength to mourn. Because I probably have seen such more fools living with a younger age than the older. So celebrating death, I, I still I am still learning it. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. It's, it's I just harsh. wanted to I just wanted to add like how Lakshmi ma'am said Harigaru had connection problems he wouldn't turn his video on and we are like Harigaru turn he would log in as Siva and I'm like who is Siva and he's like no that is me only and yeah, this is my other login and he <laughs> would just uh, talk he was yeah, then know. and I think that name Hari is definitely suits him he is a genuine god thank you in fact, uh, he used to say, please turn on your camera. He said, yes, sir, I'm booting from the other computer to turn on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so he used to always have two laptops, one for the speaker and one for the camera. <laughs> and you know, you all know I'm notorious asking people to turn on their cameras. So anyone else who has to add anything? Yes, sir. Uh, namaste to all. Uh, yeah, no, no. Actually, yes. Uh, it has been such a long time connecting with all this group. It was actually really a shock because uh, me and Lakshmi kept wondering, is it the same person? You know, we have always seen that, uh, you know, unmatching smile, you can say. From here to here, he would always be laughing, you know. That would never vanish. So this lesson has been, I mean, I think he also has taught us a great lesson. Ki, jitana apna time hai, pas haste raho. Pata nahi kab kaha bulawa jaye. And we uh, definitely pray to his family to get through this as soon as, soon as possible. And it uh, also know at the same time, it is also difficult for the family to go through. So we will, uh, will definitely pray for the strength. 
because he is, uh, I think, uh, as everybody has said, that he was such a genuine person, you know, a mirror image, you can say. So we dearly miss him. But as Sir said, Ashok Sir said, life has to go on. Thank you so much. When Vindya shared the photographs, I just put it uh, so that we can all see the lovely couple. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, hello everyone. This is Varna. Hey, it's a long time seeing you all as well. So thank you for conducting this session, uh, dedicating for a great master, Hari Sir. It's really I pay humble gratitude to him and his ca character and his qualities. He's always down to earth, as you all said. Uh, he's always available for during our Acharya Sangatya from beginning to end, just simply sitting, just to be there in a present moment and available for every queries that are asked. He would immediately go and solve because we all struggle, you know, looking for the folder, looking for the uh, case sheets and all. But he's so patient, whatever you want, yes, yes, I'm giving, I'm giving. Yeah, you will see it, you will see it. So very... Uh, like he becomes, uh, he lives in that moment and we see that uh, you know, work and he becomes one at that time. And so dedication, I never saw a person uh, that dedicated actually. And um, yeah, every time we, he is so quiet. So I wanted to just say, or uh, bring him in a more interactive. I said, hey, Arisha, what's going on? Hey, Tell ma'am, what is that? So, you know, he just he just continues the same conversation, but he has nothing to say, you know, not, doesn't talk much. Uh, always keeps a smile on him. Uh, so, very gentleman. Yeah, I couldn't believe that uh, when I heard the news, I was thinking maybe somebody else uh, in USA or maybe in India. So... Yeah, even Murunali ma'am, like, you know, I, I used to fall in love with her guided meditation during L1 session. Uh, I didn't know at that time, but I used to love her voice. So divine voice she got. And uh, my meditation got so deepened with her uh, guided meditation, with her voice. So it's connected in my meditation journey, imprinted in me. Yeah, and in a month ago, I think uh, he wanted some information really regarding uh, how Muslims uh, consider this, uh, you know, non-vegetarian and vegetarian diet. I think he had some questions. I don't know. But J.K. Sir had told me to uh, research some material in that direction and send it to Hari Sir. And then I just uh, looked up on the internet. Uh, I also didn't have. <laughs> but uh, what is there, you know, Bible talks, not Bible, the Quran talks about uh, the way vegetarianism, how, how it is related with their, uh, you know, those beliefs and their religion. So I just had a couple of uh, pages of material and I sent it to him, but I never got any confirmation from him. Uh, sir, GK sir told me to pass this information to you. Uh, so, but I never got it. Uh, it this was a month ago. Uh, then I thought maybe he's just busy. I think he needed some information related to that uh, uh, area. He got a dream or something, and GK sir told him to look up that, and you know, so we need to uh, probably for spreading that information to the Muslims community or whatever. I, I don't know much deeper, but he just simply said, just send the information. I was hoping to hear from him, like, yeah, thank you, madam, or something, but I, I never heard anything. So, I don't know what was the situation. Yeah, greatly, we greatly missed a, a divine person. I pay 
respect to him and his family. I'm sure oh, Rani Ma'am is a very divine person. She's she will have a lot of strength and our our support, our love will heal her to come out of this challenging time. Yeah, I would say yeah, just to celebrate every moment. We don't know what uh, whatever comes in our way. Uh, just think that it's coming from a divine person, whether it is hate or it's love. Just see, you know, we always think, yeah, love comes, then oh, God is blessing me. But when hatred comes, think you don't want to accept. But that is also comes from divine to teach us something, to embrace something. So when we take it equally, then we celebrate the life. So, you know, so, you know, sometimes we are humans, so we miss some things on our way, in our journey, in our struggles or in our, you know, moment. But uh, something definitely uh, reminds us, put us in that center. It may be bitter or it may be happy. Just take it as because everybody is a divine person. And understand that. Give, give whatever whoever wants. And just move on. And enjoy. That's my message today. Thank you all. Happy to see you, everyone. It's great to hear you. And it's great. It's, it's great to see you back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Okay, Master. Yeah, yeah, we will start invitation. No. Okay, Masters. Please sit in a comfortable position. Crisscross your legs. Clasp your fingers, fingers into fingers. Observe your natural normal tranquil breath our breath is our god our breath is our friend our breath is our master with your breath.
last one minute master where all spiritual beings having human experience on this earth we are all interconnected love yourself love everyone around you everyone is a master gratitude to this divine body to this divine mind to this divine soul gratitude to our mother nature mother earth mother nature attitude to our parents family members and friends gratitude to brahma shikta mahan patri for giving such a simplest method to realize our soul Please your fingers and your eyes. At the count of five, four, three, two, one, zero. Open your eyes with a big smile on your face and gratitude to Hari Sar and his family for their services. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining today's group meditation in honor of Hari Sar. Thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi. Thank you all. Thank you, Hari <laughs> Sar and Lakshmi, ma'am, for doing this. I genuinely appreciate your efforts. Thank you for bringing us all. So nice to see all the masters and. sending all our energies to that loving family thank you yes yes thanks to chandra sir and uh, ashok sir and all the masters who shared their experiences and uh, today my experience in the meditation of course even though we stop we can't uh, stop our thinking right so in i don't know i thought it or something i'm not sure but uh, i felt like hari sir where is he, where did he go he go he went to uh patris are only right so that's what i i felt like yeah thank you lakshmi thank, thank, thank you chandra sir thank you everyone thank you thank, thank you all thank you sir thank you lakshmi thank you sir thank you everyone again thank you thank you ashok thank you thank you thank you yeah bye thank you all thank you boy thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you chandra sir oh, yeah. bye then yeah. though Thank we you. don't like saying it bye for today yeah.